How to customize your email in WooCommerce easy tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can customize your emails for your WooCommerce store. So let's get into it. If you're running a store on WooCommerce, if you have an online business and you send abandoned cart emails, welcome email to your customers. And on WooCommerce, if you want to use an integration that helps you customize your email completely, create aesthetically pleasing email with a lot of different uh, tools and options. So that's what I will show you today, how to customize your email for WooCommerce to make them look more professional and efficient. So let's get started with the process. First of all, you're going to open up your WooCommerce store. I use WooCommerce with WordPress, of course, and what you're going to do is you just require your store on WooCommerce. Now you have a store and you have some customers, they order from your store, your store is running really good. But when it comes to your email, you want to do more with it. You want to create email marketing campaigns. You want to build a strong business and a brand. So for that, you will require a plugin. You can go ahead and check out MailChimp.com. MailChimp.com is an email marketing and automation platform that allows you to create email marketing campaigns, uh, sign up forms, and much more. This is the integration that I personally use as well with a lot of different platforms actually not just WooCommerce and this helps me create professional emails so I'll show you how to customize an email using MailChimp for WooCommerce first of all you require an account on MailChimp so you're gonna click on sign up once you get to MailChimp.com in order to sign up all you need to do is just enter your email address or you can sign up with your Google account and this is where you will get you can see this is our MailChimp it has a campaign option then we have audience where we can create different contexts and more we have automations website content integration on WooCommerce you will be able to actually see that MailChimp is the official integration partner with WooCommerce for emails now, in order to connect these two platforms, I'm going to actually connect my WordPress to MailChimp. It's really easy. Again, you can add the plugin of MailChimp on your WordPress as well and then just sign in to your account. It will take you to your dashboard. Once your WooCommerce and your MailChimp is connected, or if you want to know how to connect MailChimp to your WordPress or WooCommerce, then there is already a video on the channel. Once it's connected, this is where you will get. Now, let's create an email. For that, we're going to go to the campaigns right here and select on all campaigns. All right, you can see we have different types of campaigns that we can create. We're going to click right here. Regular email or a landing page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a regular email. Here we have to enter some details. I'm going to edit the name and it's going to be a welcome email for my customers. This is where you will add your recipients and what we can do is we can actually go to the audience section here and import our list from our WooCommerce or we can also export our list that we have on MailChimp to our WooCommerce. So we're going to select the list here in two. Then we have from subject and content. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly add recipients. Click on add recipients right here and we can actually choose different lists that we have and send these email to multiple customers. From it's going to be my email here. Then we're going to enter our subject. So I'm going to quickly on click on add subject. The subject is going to be welcome because this is a welcome email for my customers. Preview text. Welcome to our store. There you go. And then I'm going to click on save. Moving on, we have to edit. This is where the customization happens. Click on design email and it will take you to the classic builder or the new builder. I'm going to go with the classic builder, which is going to be a simple drag and drop. Here, MailChimp gives us a lot of different tools and options to customize. And we can even choose from multiple templates that are already uh, created. So you can see what templates we have. Showcase your products, share your big news, share your story, make an announcement, follow up, educate. So we have these type of um, templates available. This is really good for your store when it comes to WooCommerce and then we have make an announcement or something like that. So I'm actually creating a welcome email. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with this one which is like make an announcement one. We can of course customize a template completely. So I'm going to select this one. So here we have our uh, customization options. You can see this is where I will customize my email. 
First of all, we have a logo here. We can also go with an image if we want, or we can just change the color to add a text. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it to the theme for my uh, store that I have. So I'm going to like change the background color here. Now we have the logo. You're going to click on edit right here and you can upload your image and you can also change the style. So on, on uh, MailChimp, you, when you hover over, you can see it gives us the option to completely uh, delete something or to completely or to add a new section. So I'm going to delete the logo right here and I will be adding a text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a text right here. So it's a simple drag and drop. So you'll just drag the text and then add it here. Once it's added, I'm going to add my store name here. Okay, so I have added it. Now we're going to customize a little bit. I'm going to make it bold and then I'm going to make it centered aligned so that it is in the center. And now we're going to change the style for the text that we have. And I'm going to firstly change the color so that it's more prominent. So I'm going to change it to the white color here. And this is what it will look like. We can also change the now size a little bit. So for the size, I'm going to go for 30. And then we have the font as well. So we can change it for now. I think my text looks good. Now we can move on to the next section, which is going to be the big news. We have a text here. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and customize it here. Again, I'm going to click right here and change the color for my text. Let's click on the style. Go to the colors right here. So once you're done, you can see I changed the color and make it, made it a little big. Click on save and close. And now we have our next step, which is going to be our uh, photo here. How to add these sections? I'm going to quickly delete this one and show you. Let's say I want to now add an image. So for that, you can see we have all of the blocks given. We have text, boxed text, dividers, images. We have buttons, footers, and code. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add a divider. So you're going to drag and drop it right here. So the divider will be added. And I'm going to click on save and close. Then we're going to drag the image section and add it right here, which is the block will be added. Now I'm going to upload an image from my computer or we can also upload files already. So I'm going to just click on upload and upload an image. So the image has been added. You can see this is the image I wanted to go for. I'm going to click on save and continue. Then I'm going to add another divider. You can see how easy it is to customize email with MailChimp and we can actually create a very professional email. Now we have text here. I'm going to click on edit and edit the text. Uh, let's say this is the text that I wanted to add for my, you know, store. You can write some information about your store, about anything. So I'm just going to keep this text for example. Then we have another divider already added. I'm going to delete it from here and we're going to add a button. How to add a button? So for that, again, you're going to go and drag the button, drop it right here. The button will be added. So the button says buy now. Buy now is actually what I want to say as well. But you can, of course, customize your um, button completely. So I'm going to again type in like buy now. It is blue. I do not want it to be blue. I'm going to change the color completely. So I'm going to select it and then we're going to change the color. There you go. So this is the color that I wanted to go for because this is the color that we have. This is going to be my button and then we can change our button style as well. Uh, for example, we can go for a border if I like. And we have other things as well, such as the font, size, everything. So for the size, again, maybe we can make it a little bigger or make it a little smaller. That totally depends on us. So I have added a button too. This is what the button looks like. Moving on, we're going to click on just save and close. And then we have this text here. I'm going to get rid of it. And what we can do is we can now add some of the products here if we want. And then we have an, another button. I'm going to get rid of it. Here we have our socials, how to add socials. You can see again, we have social follow here, drag and drop. Once it's added, click on the uh, edit option. And then you're going to add your all of your social links here. We can add our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram website. In this case, you will, of course, add a direct link. This buy now button will have a direct link to your WooCommerce store. And then we can add our social media here. And then this is going to be your footer. You can completely customize it. This is not the footer that I want. So I'm going to click on edit and it will allow me to edit all the information here where I will be able to edit my copyrights, my mailing address and more. So click on save and close. Your 
your email will be customized. Now we can change the background color as well if we want. So you're going to go to the style. We have page, header, body, footer. So I'm going to go to the body right here. It is white and I'm going to change the color to this one right here, like a little lighter. There you go. So this is what my, you know, email looks like. You can see this is how I completely customize. This is a very simple email that I created and it is a full customized email. It's very easy to customize. There is no coding involved. Uh, so once it's done, what you're going to do is you're going to click on continue and you're going to schedule this email or send this email to your list that you imported from your WooCommerce. That's how easy it is to customize your email for your WooCommerce store so that you have one tone and brand for for your business. I hope that I was a big help to you guys and now you know how to customize email for WooCommerce. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.